up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. Today I have a short and simple quick tip on how you can crush your 3D objects inside of Blender using some shape keys and some simple keyframing. This is the same technique that we use to crush the car in the background of the final shot in our experimental short film, Revelation, and it's a super simple way you can create a destructive effect without doing any kind of simulation. Alright guys, so let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to be using this 3D car model here, but you can use any 3D asset of your choice. It is important to have enough vertices so that you can actually move around your 3D object in edit mode because shape keys work when you actually move the data of those vertices around. So if your object doesn't have enough of them, you won't get a very good result. But this is the 3D model we're going to be using and let's get started in our process here. So first I'll go ahead and select our object that we're going to crush. So I'll go ahead and select the car here. Then we'll go to our object data properties tab here. I will add a new shape key. And by default, the first shape key that's going to be added is the basis shape key. So this specific shape key is only going to be how the vertices are when you add the shape key at the beginning. Now I'll go ahead and add one more shape key which we're going to edit and deform. And as you can see here, we have a key one and we're going to use the relative option here and leave it as relative to basis. So now what we want to do is adjust the vertices for this specific shape key. So to do that, I will leave key one selected here. And while our car is selected, I'll go to edit mode. And for a crushing metal style effect, I like to turn on proportional editing here. So I'll go ahead and select this. And now as you can see here, what I can do is just select some of the vertices. I can grab them and then I can kind of push them in and I can control how much of an area that I'm pushing in by using the scroll button here. So I might just scroll down a little bit to get a little bit smaller area. And we can also rotate this a little bit to give it a little bit of a more interesting shape. And I'm just going to repeat this process on different parts of our 3D car model here. Maybe take some of these hood vertices here, crush these guys down. Take some of this back portion, bring it in. Put this bumper in as well. Then I also might take some of these chunks here and just kind of bring them in here to get a little warping of the metal. So we're just creating the data for the part of our scene when the object is crushed. So you can be as precise as you like with this. And if you like, you can even add more shape keys to refine the process a little bit more. So once you're happy with the warp shape of your object, go ahead and go back to object mode. And now what we can do is we can animate the value of our key one that we've created here over time to create the effect of our car being crushed. So I'll go ahead on frame one. I will add a keyframe with the value at zero. So press I while the cursor is over our value at zero. And now go to frame say 20. And now we can increase this value all the way to one. And again, press I while our cursor is over the value. And now we've animated these vertices over the course of 20 frames in order to create the look of an object being crushed over time. So if I just do a quick playback of our viewport rendered animation, we get something like this, which is a pretty nice looking effect in a fairly short period of time. Anyways guys, that's how you can crush objects inside of Blender utilizing shape keys. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to see next on the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.